Yo, it's about that time. Hey, what's going on everyone? Anime Analyst here to deliver this long-awaited Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 review. Now, Naruto Storm 4 begins where 2013's Naruto Storm 3 leaves off. With no sight of a storm game at all in the year 2015, you can kind of guess that this game was highly anticipated by the fans. In addition, Naruto's manga is officially completed and this game also serves to wrap up the material that is left to cover in the manga considering that the anime is not even caught up. I'm gonna quickly cover the main points of the game so we might as well start off with story mode. In this mode, you're gonna have a playable version of the rest of the fourth great shinobi war where the formula is very similar to the other storm games and how they deal with the story mode. So you're gonna be experiencing high quality anime cutscenes, quick time events galore, and you're gonna be reliving the infamous battles that you know and love from the Naruto manga, including like Mike Guy versus Madara, the final Naruto versus Sasuke fight, Kaguya versus Team 7, stuff like that. The things I can say that I liked inside the story mode was, it was basically three things. So when they actually did animate full scenes, they looked amazing. They took advantage of the next gen hardware. They took advantage of the PC if you had one and they made it look beautiful. It was very entertaining just to watch these cutscenes unfold because some of them we haven't even seen in the anime yet. Of course, just like me, everyone's gonna like reliving the battles that you saw in the manga and you actually get to play them. Like you actually feel connected to the battles. You remember when they like invoke, evoke emotion from you you're gonna get to play these and it's just an awesome experience to replay these battles that we all know and love. And lastly, I like kind of the unique scenarios that come up in every Storm game story mode, like when the gameplay actually switches off from the generic gameplay and gives you something like different and exciting. I actually like when the gameplay switched up and that was another highlight of the game for me. Can't really spoil uh, the little unique gameplay bits, but they were very entertaining considering it was kind of a step away from the a tiresome gameplay that you're most likely gonna encounter inside the story mode. Going into the dislikes of story mode, you guys already know what is probably the first thing I'm going to need to address. The still images inside the story mode that lasted for long periods of time where it was just an image, voices, and subtitles. I cannot deal with that. It really made me slow down and get bored when I was playing the story mode. It just kind of made uh, it was a huge turn off for me when I was trying to go through the story mode because it was a very sudden change of pace from what we were doing one minute I'm fighting say the Hokages with Sasuke and the next minute I'm looking at powerpoints uh, of characters speaking and it's just a total adrenaline downfall also a lot of the fights felt like a nuisance like I really was not entertained most of the fights there's probably like two fights that I actually like was feeling personally like the rest of them were just run through them just to get my characters it was really not that great of an experience for me during story mode so in total story mode was basically just a means for me to unlock the characters with like a couple of battles that i actually like considering that they put in objects that slow down the pace of story mode. When we go and look at the combat system, a good amount of noticeable updates have been made to the system that we play with online a lot. It really matters online, but it's, it's, in, it's in story mode too. A lot of noticeable updates have been made to the combat system, battle system, whatever you want to call it. Some of the most noticeable updates include leader switch where you can switch between every character in your team now. There have been adjustments made to the counter. It is no longer a stun move where it leaves the opponent basically in a dazed state. It just pushes the opponent across the map now. Jutsu uh, elements actually affect the environment around you. So if you have lightning on water, it's going to be charged up. If you have water on water, uh, it's going to increase the effect. And if you uh, cast fire style onto someone, it's going to kind of linger on their clothing and decrease their health as time goes by. There is also increased stage destruction. And probably the most game changing is the two round system. Now you have to win two rounds in one bout 
in order to actually get the full win so you have to beat your opponent twice in in the match in order to get the win so that's really most of the new updates to the combat system now combat system nothing but good things for me they actually fixed it up the combat system is nice and fair it doesn't seem unfair like the previous game no problems with the fighting system you'll love it when we get to online battles online mode is very similar to naruto storm revolutions online mode basically the same modes and same type of feel some of the new additions to the online mode though include special date based events that you can do special missions on certain dates in order to collect ninja items that you can use to purchase substitution items costumes and stuff of that nature you have bonus ninja items to be unlocked when it's a certain character's birthday and you can actually give your player card a character's voice so if your favorite character is sasuke you could go ahead and get a sasuke voice clip that comes up every time you join a fight because your favorite character is sasuke it applies to like basically every playable character in the game you can give them a voice so you can show off who's your favorite character basically now i like the increased player card customization that's really all i can say but one of the things that they did in the online mode that i completely dislike is that they basically took away features in the online play what do i mean you guys already know what i mean they took away spectator mode and basically every multiplayer online mode that we usually had it in such as endless and they decreased the player cap in endless as well endless mode you can no longer spectate while your opponent's fighting someone else you have to sit in the lobby only four players maximum and endless you can still no longer watch people play in a tournament that you're in after you finish fighting you're just sitting in the lobby this is basically broken the community up because when we want to stream chill out with the uh with our buddies we like to be watching the fights in the tournament see some epic battles being endless just chilling they're no longer allowed to do that we currently have a petition out to get these uh features back into the online mode but who knows what whether they will happen but hopefully they will hopefully they'll come back the servers are also very unstable at the moment i don't know whether this will be fixed via patch but as it is now when you get into a good match with a good connection you're good but most of the time when you're fighting on ranked it will randomly disconnect some of the uh, selections on the online menu you'll click them and it'll just error give you an error and like send you out like it's really weird it's very unstable and it's really not i i don't appreciate that considering how long we waited for this game to come out you had time to fix this I'm going to touch on adventure mode just because it's on the main menu. It would kind of be bad if I didn't touch on this. It's basically a story adventure after that occurs after uh, the fourth great shinobi war. So it involves running around the ninja world like you did in storm 2, storm 3 most notably. The slow paced Naruto running where you're taking on basically mostly irrelevant missions. And it's very repetitive. Really all I have to say about adventure mode. There's really nothing new. There's been adventure modes in like every game. I don't like the mode. The only thing that I like about the mode is if you have English dub or Japanese uh, dub, the voices is kind of fun to look, look, uh, listen to the different conversations that people have since it's not really canon. It's like its own little thing. It's kind of fun to do that in adventure mode to hear the people talk. But other than that, I don't really mess with adventure mode and I don't really see the purpose of it. It's very slow and repetit repetitive. So what is my verdict for Naruto Storm 4? Is it worth the pickup? Yes. Newcomers and veterans will enjoy this game simply because it is an awesome game that is just rough around the edges. Very, very, like, it's very rough around the edges, but it's a great game when you look at the core, which is like the fighting and like you can play your friends, but at the same time, the edges are very rough. You got the online, it's kind of, it's very messed up and the story mode is kind of shallow. So I expected a better experience from the story mode, but I'm gonna tell you guys how I felt considering that this game was supposed to come out late 2015, but we got this game early 2016. We had to wait like basically six months for the game to come out basically like someone telling you hey we got this pizza for you you come to pick up the pizza they say it's gonna be the perfect pizza blah blah blah, blah. it's not ready fam 
come back in like two months and we'll give you a pizza that's the best slice of pizza you ever had the best piece of pie you ever had so you wait it's going to be worth it because they have more time to work with they're going to make this the perfect pizza so you come back two months later after waiting patiently and you come the pizza looks amazing on the outside you bring that pizza home uh you crack open your little sprite your water your tropicana whatever you drinking on so you get up to the table pizza looks amazing perfect pizza you slipped up the slice yeah, you take a bite, the bottom crust is burnt. You got played. You waited all that time for the perfect pizza. It looks nice. It, it got hyped up. It was nice and uh, looks good on the outside. But then when you actually taste it, you got that nasty aftertaste in your mouth from all the little burnt bread on the bottom of the uh, pizza that just ruins the whole pizza altogether. So I definitely think this is what happened with Naruto Storm 4. We waited, we were patient, and we basically got a very sloppy product and considering the problems that we had with the launch people getting the game early very very i was i just felt some type of way like i kind of felt some type of way about people getting the game like in january i believe like late january yeah people got like the game late january and the game doesn't come out till february like come on son but yeah i give the game a 7.5 out of 10 if you enjoyed this review please leave a like if you haven't already subscribed join the real ninja nation today hit that subscribe button and uh Tell me you guys your thoughts in the comments. What would you give this game a rating out of 10? And I'll see you guys later. Peace.